NVCR up 75%. That is definitely on the watch list for morning momentum. Fundamentals of the company I haven't had a lot of time with, but I got a basic idea. And really, for morning momentum, I don't need a lot of information. I need to know what's happening here. So um, at open, I'll be looking for just a simple gap and go play here. Uh, true strength indicator is mid. Stochastic RSI is peaking. Awesome oscillator is up. And I'll probably bring up my other indicators too if I'm about to take it. And of course, the volume is definitely uh, increasing. And we have news that came, came out. Jeez, news. I don't know what time in the morning it came, that came out. out. Jeez, I don't know what time in the morning the I read was it. Just after 3 o'clock. The article I read was the other one is just FTDY. after 3 o'clock. It, the other one is FTDY. Okay. It's not up 33% of the free market. The indicators are definitely not, not looking as aggressive. The uh, this one I'm watching uh, with the other indicators I use the squeeze momentum, MACD, stochastic RSI. I got a three minute chart up right now on it. APOP, it's up pre market, but this is a dangerous pre market uh, momentum stock. It uh, tends to get really aggressive in the first couple of minutes and then uh, it can fade fast. The other one is DVAX. DVAX is up a little bit pre-market. We have some news on it. Not really excited about it. But we'll see how it trades. The S&P. Uh, I'm watching this close because our uh, algorithm has a divergence in uh, the most recent highs. And I want to see, um, see if the bulls can take it out. And if it gets momentum, then I'll probably be an SPXL. Uh, for the long, that's a uh, leveraged uh, high beta, or um, in XIV if the VIX looks like it's going to be crushed at the same time. Oil, I'm looking at uh, a resistance area here around 50.95, so I'm looking at a possible uh, swing in DWTI or DWT or DWTIF. My apologies for the noise in the background. I'll get rid of that here right away.